I'm a thoracic oncologist, so I care for patients with lung cancer, and I research better ways of treating and understanding lung cancer. And when I got that grant from the Conquer Cancer Foundation, it gave me the confidence to push forward and to, to proceed with a passion of mine, which is lung cancer research. Why does lung cancer happen in non-smokers? On its own, lung cancer in non-smokers is the seventh most common cancer worldwide. And yet, it's sort of lumped in with the rest of lung cancer. We're trying to separate that out. Find those families who suffer from lung cancer in non-smokers and understand their risk. Why does lung cancer happen in them? And hopefully, discover how to prevent that kind of lung cancer. My current mentor is Pasi Yane, who is a thoracic oncologist at Dana-Farber. He was actually funded by the Conquer Cancer Foundation about 10 years ago in 2001 with a grant of his own. Uh, and now he's shepherding me through this process. My main area of interest in lung cancer is to try to understand and correlate genetic changes in lung cancer with the uh, effectiveness of targeted therapies, namely kinase inhibitors. It was an area where therapies had uh, been relatively ineffective for many uh, for a long period of time. There had not been a lot of a lot of advances, and I thought that there was a lot of opportunity to study lung cancer and to understand the cancer and hopefully use that understanding uh, for therapies. We've looked in several cancer treatment populations at the effects of tobacco uh, on therapeutic outcome, demonstrating that tobacco has adverse effects on therapeutic outcome. This will uh, enable me to pursue something that I am very enthusiastic about and I believe has a significant impact on a very broad spectrum of patients uh, during cancer treatment. I do a lot of drug development uh, which is really not cancer specific. You know, we are taking new drugs that have promise and testing them for the first time in patients. Then when it comes to specific uh, tumor types, my focus is in lung cancer. And the unique part about early drug development particularly is that you have a new drug that shows promise in the lab and you're giving it to people for the very first time. And if you give this drug to uh, the patient and they come back tomorrow and they have a headache. Is this headache the drug or do they have a cold? So it's an incredibly important part of the whole continuum of drug development. The early stages where you test to see whether this drug has clinical activity, whether it's safe, the dose to give and how frequently to give it. Lung cancer is one of the most incident cancers worldwide and it's a major cause of cancer death as well. And in Brazil it's not different. Lung cancer is a major public health problem. Coming to ESCO meeting and uh, being awarded by the Conquer Cancer Foundation is a very important acknowledgement. Since then we not only have the chance to improve our careers but we have the mission to spread that in our home countries. My project, it will be a very important trial. It's involving lots of different centers along the country and certainly to make a, a, a difference in how we deal with lung cancer in Brazil. Because after that, we'll be able to launch and bring the right clinical trials for our patients. And we'll be able to try to give these patients the best targeted new therapies which are not available at this time for a widespread group of patients. It's all about patients. We can't just forget this anytime. All we try to do is to improve something that will ultimately make a difference in patients' lives.